Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name is Craig, it's nine o'clock, it's time for another video. And this is a very special video, and it's special because it's the start of a new series. It's called the Rhymentary, and I'm going to explain to you exactly what the Rhymentary is all about, why we're doing it, and what the concept is. But before I do, please don't panic, because we are having a third season of the Matchmentary. It is coming soon. We normally start those in around about September, October. Uh, we've got some great ideas that... Uh, me and Michael are going to be uh, talking to Matt about, but the third season of the Matchmentary is coming soon. Um, but the Rhyme Entry is a very, very different thing. It's not going to run for as long as the Matchmentary does, but it's got a very specific purpose in mind. And let me explain what that purpose is. And let me explain the reason we're actually doing this, because I really think a lot of people are going to get a lot out of this series of videos. So, um, overwhelmingly, the amount of comments that we get about the matchumentary even now people will find season one and start watching it and they'll go oh, i'm inspired to become a magician because of what i've seen matt go through oh this is super interesting it's really helped me um which is what magic tv is all about it's all about putting content on that's going to help people achieve their goals in magic whatever those goals may be whether it be to become a professional magician or go out and perform that's what the uh, magic tv channel is all about right so i know that people like watching these documentary type things and uh, i know that the matchumentary has been super successful but the other thing that i know is the content that's the most well received on on magic tv is the content where we give people advice on a particular subject. And one of the videos recently we put up that everybody has talked about is the making of the Harry Potter act. Now, if you missed that, it was me, Drew Perry, and Matt Cluley sitting down and talking about how we developed Ryland's Harry Potter act that he went and entered the Family Entertainer of the Year with. And then later on, uh, it's now become his signature piece. He's performing it all over the world. And it was about how we actually developed that act and looking back at it in retrospect and, and how it all began and the process that we went through in order to take a concept and turn it into a reality. Um, everybody loved that video and loved the Harry Potter act and they wanted to see more. Hey, I wish I could see more content like this. Please produce more content like this. So I was sitting down and thinking about how we could do that. And then everything fell into place. I was like, wouldn't it be a great idea if we put a short documentary series up on Magic TV where we document the creation of a act for Ryland? Um, because here's the thing, me and Ry are always sitting around coming up with acts. Um, if anybody has ever gone and watched Ryland at the House of Secrets, you know that he always goes with a brand new act every single time. Uh, we're always kind of coming up with new ideas and new routines because me and Ryan love magic. And a lot of the time we work on routines just because we love working on routines. And I need to tell you this right now. If you have seen Ryland on, on, on Instagram and he puts those little like 30 second videos up, watching him perform live in front of an audience is a very different thing. He's a very talented young boy. He is absolutely incredible. And I'm blown away with what he achieves every single time I go and watch him perform. He has had more stage experience than most magicians will ever have at the age of 11. He's touring with Killian O'Connor this summer, and he's just constantly learning new moves. He's constantly learning uh, more magic. And his favorite type of magic, He 95% of the time he performs, he performs on stage. 5% of the time he does close-up. And a lot of the magic that he does on stage is either comedy magic or it's magic done to music, which is why the Harry Potter act suited him so well, because, uh, you know, he, he loves performing magic to music. And he really kind of gets into it. And as you know, if you've been watching his channel, he has regular acting lessons. He has regular lessons in movement, vocal projection. You know, he's, he's constantly working on every aspect of performing on stage. Um, the reason I tell you that is because this, as you can probably guess by the name of the series, the Rhymentary, this is uh, kind of following Ryland, developing a new act. Now, when I talk about a new act, I'm talking kind of like the Harry Potter act. Um, so it's a set 10 minute routine. I personally really believe that uh, one of the big things about competitions is it allows you to put together something very unique and very different and have a time frame 
for when that needs to be done. That's why I love competition so much. Like with the Harry Potter Act, we knew we had to get it together and get it ready and get all the aspects done for it by February for the Blackpool Magic Convention because he had to have it ready for them. Um, and everything was geared up towards getting that ready for that convention, right? If we didn't have that end goal in sight, the Harry Potter Act probably still wouldn't be around now because we'd still be tinkering with it. It would never be ready. But we had that definitive cutoff point. And I think that's the best thing about com competitions. It's why when we did the first season of the matchumentary, I said to Matt, right, it has to end with you doing a performance in front of an audience in a theatre. Well, it's why I said in the second season, it has to end with you doing a performance at the House of Secrets. It has to end with you doing a performance in the Bear Pit. It has to end there. That's where it has to end. There has to be a finale that everything is ready for. Um, so, you know, like I said, me and Ryland are always working on new routines and new bits and pieces. But for me, there's something very different between a routine and an act. Um, the Harry Potter act is designed to be 10 minutes in length. Um, which makes it great. You know, he's, he's performing that act all over the tour with Killian. Uh, he's performing it in London at a bunch of different shows. He's getting a lot of opportunities to do this 10 minute act. If you want to become a professional magician and you can say, I've got this 10 minute act that's completely themed and nobody else is doing anything like this. And this showcases what I can do. You will get booked to do that 10 minute act 100%. There's a lot of places. So that's why I love competition so much. It allows you to put a definitive end this act is going to be ready for this date. This act is going to be ready for this time. Um, and, and so we said, I said, I said to myself, I said, self, I said, wouldn't it be a good idea if we did a documentary series on Ryland, me, Matt, and, and, and whoever else has been involved, various different things <laughs> that Ryland's done. I've got people like John Morton involved and Phil Smith involved and Drew Perry involved. And it's all about knowing people that are better than you, at what, you know, various different things. Get, seeing that whole process of taking an idea, a concept, and turning it into an actual act that you can perform in front of an audience that's very different to anything else out there. So I'm not talking about, right, okay, we're going to throw together a 10 minute act. You're going to start with cups and balls, then you're going to do an egg bag, and you're going to finish off with um, a dancing cane. That is not what I mean by an act. That's three tricks thrown together that you're just doing. And there's nothing wrong with that. Me and Rye spend a lot of time doing that. We spend a lot of time going, right, what we're gonna work on today? Dancing cane, let's see how we can make that better. What we're gonna work on now? This, right, let's see how we're gonna make that better. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about taking three, doing a 15. I'm talking about creating like something really unique and really different, like the Harry Potter act. If you know the, uh, I know a lot of young magicians watch this, like um, Rafferty's water act, like Arabella's, um, uh, Lord of the Rings act or her Frozen act, like uh, Joseph Westbury, one of the best young magicians in the world, by the way, if you're listening to this, Joseph, you rock. Like Joseph's Waiter act, which uh, is just so good. If you ever get a chance to watch an amazing act, by the way, the young magicians are just better at this stuff than adults. They really are. They're just so much better at creating acts that are just awesome. So much better. So much better. Um, Harry Piper, I mean, look at his... Anyway, I, I digress. I'm, I'm talking about that sort of act where it's like a 10 minute themed act. There is a theme to this act. Boom. There is the theme. So I was kind of thinking, wouldn't it be great if we if we did that? And then the next day I spoke to Ryland about this and then we started prepping for a review show. And one of the reviews that we did was of a trick by Tora called Juicy News. And if you don't know what Juicy News is, it's a new, it's a, um, it's a, it's a, a carton of orange juice, and you turn it into a newspaper, and it looks really visual. And Ryland immediately fell in love with this for a couple of reasons: one, it's Torah; uh, two, it's a visual, and you can perform it on stage. And he went and did it on Instagram. He went out for dinner that night, and he took it with him to the restaurant. Don't ask. And did it on Instagram, and it looked really good, and you know, got great reactions. Uh, 
And one of the points that we made in the review, I don't know if that review has gone up or not yet, but one of the points we made in the review is this is kind of a great trick, turning an orange carton into a newspaper, but it's kind of like, why? Why would you turn a newspaper, an orange juice carton into a newspaper? And Ryland turned around and said, yeah, but it'd be great to do in a themed act. And we kind of both kind of went, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 it will. Um, and then after we finished the review show, we actually, or it might have been before, I might be getting my timings mixed up, I can't remember. It might have been, we might have had this conversation as we were talking about this prop, I can't remember. But either, anyway, um, we, we kind of said, we sat down and we were like, this would be... This would form the basis of a really great themed act. Now, this is what happened with Harry Potter, by the way. The reason the Harry Potter act came to be was because of x Light by TCC. TCC bought out x Light. We got one for review. Ryland fell in love with it, did it on Instagram. And he was like, this is great. I want to put this in a show. I'm like, well, it's kind of a one you done type of thing, mate. I mean, a feather. Hey, move on. Um, I'm like... He's like, well, maybe we could build a show up about it. And it was at the same time we were trying to think of a concept for the Family Entertainer of the Year. And we both said, well, how about Harry Potter Act? And that's that was like the germ or the, the, the original concept of the Harry Potter Act. And then we went down the route of creating the music and creating the concept and the tricks and the process that we talked about in that video with me, Drew and Matt. So we both said this would be a great trick to doing a themed act and I turned around to Ryland and said okay but what would that theme be and he said me getting ready in the morning for go to school and I'm like yes that would be amazing case in point by the way just so you know Ryland is a nightmare at getting ready for school he is a nightmare he gets up early that's not the problem he spends so he's got two speeds, dead slow and stop. And uh, frequently, me and, me and his mom will be like, Rye, you got to go to school, buddy. We've got, we, you're going to be late. You're going to be late. Have you had your breakfast yet? Have your breakfast. No, you haven't had your breakfast. Go and have your breakfast. Um, it, it's every morning, every morning, to the point that sometimes I want to throttle him, like every single morning. And he said, well, wouldn't this be a great act? Like, almost like the act is me getting ready to go to school in the morning. I'm like, okay. I was like, how does that help with the orange juice thing? And he's like, well, I could be trying to get, you know, you're always telling me to drink an orange juice for breakfast, which I am because of vitamin C. And he's like, you could be telling me to drink this orange juice. And every time I try to drink it, something happens. I'm like, what do you mean? And he said, well, imagine if I'm drinking it and then somebody asks for a newspaper and I turn it into a newspaper, but I haven't got an orange juice anymore. So I have to make another orange juice. I could do a glass production or something. I'm like, mate, that's amazing. I said, do you think you could stretch that concept out over 10 minutes? And we both went, well, yeah, I think we can. So I said, well, why don't we make this the rhyme entry? And it will run for a few weeks. I don't know how many, maybe four, maybe five weeks where we're going to basically create this act and do it in front of a live audience. It's going to be from inspiration to ovation, from inspiration to standing ovation, hopefully. Um, and it's going to be, you're going to see every aspect of this. So the, 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 what you're going to see next week is me and Ryland sitting down and going through how this act would look, work and what it entails. You're going to see how we, how we prepare the music. You're going to see um, what we do from a musicality point of view, how that routine is going to be structured, what we're going to do, creating the script, Ryland learning the script, then how you actually put that act together, how you rehearse it, where you block it, then taking it to an area where you can actually practice it from a staging point of view. What's the staging going to look like? And then actually performing it in front of a live audience. You're going to see every aspect of creating this act from beginning to end. You're going to see the whole thing over the next few weeks. This video is to explain the concept to you, and I'm super excited about this. Like I said at the beginning of this video, Magic TV is all about putting content out there that you guys like. People seem to like Ryland. People seem to like Matt. People think I'm okay. People love the content that we put up where we're giving advice, especially about creating shows and especially about show structure. 
Um, people really like the documentary type series that we do. So we're taking all of that, sticking it into a blender, and we're going to pump it. And I don't know if this is going to work. It's a little bit like the matrimentary. Season one, Matt could have died on his arse. Season two, he could have died on his arse in the bear pit. We might not be able to make this trip, this act work. We don't know at this point. We're not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm hoping it's going to work. This is kind of what I do. I sit here and I make shows. Um, you know, that's what I do as a company. As a company, that's what we do here. We make shows. I'm currently working on a show for uh, a big theme park. We're putting together, together a Wild West show for a big theme park. That's what we do. Part of what we do here in this company is we make acts and we make shows and we produce shows. And that's what um, we're going to try and do here. And we're going to document the whole thing. And we're going to try and see if we can put some content out that will allow anybody who wants to put a stage show together to see the process that we go through when we put that act together. And you're gonna see all the rehearsals and you can see everything. Um, so it starts uh, this week. This is technically the first episode, but it's gonna be going up every Thursday. Thursday is documentary series and we'll probably go straight from doing this one into the third season of the match mentor. So let me know down below, are you excited about this? Are you not excited? I'm super excited. I love putting these shows together and I love working with Ryan and Matt and Drew and um, John and Phil and everyone else that gets dragged in to help me with all of this stuff. And for anybody who um, knows about Ryland's superhero act, that's a separate thing. This is not about the superhero act. The superhero act is bubbling along very, very nicely. We're almost there. We're waiting for one more prop from an illusion builder and we're good to go. We're doing this alongside that one as part of this whole documentary series. So let me know down below if you're excited. Let me know down below if you're excited about next week's episode where we actually start the process of developing this act. You want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be back again tomorrow um, with another video. I'm going to be back all over the weekend as well. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already done so, go check out The Netrix, www.thenetrix.com. Go see what all the fuss is about. I'll be back soon. My name's Craig, and this is Magic TV. Mm -hmm.